Hey guys, what is up? Uh, before going into this video, I want to say one thing. Um, I'm still kind of working on my lighting. It seems like cloudy days are my absolute enemy, and the light that I brought, absolutely overexposure. So I gotta record like this, and I hope you guys are okay with that. And we're gonna cover the the what's exploit, the more so uh, the news surrounded it, and the buzz, I guess one can call it, surrounding it. Has it been a really interesting concept or dialogue? Not concept, but. Rather, Pokemon has never been in the limelight when it comes to cheating or whatnot. And for the first time ever, news outlet is actually covering that to most likely keep its negativity, I guess we'd call it, but rather things that is to be exploited relevant. And I think that's great. I actually think that's a very good thing to to cover and talk about. Um, the concept that, or the dialogue that comes from that has been whether or not it's cheating. Now, before going in, um, I won't showcase what's myself, I do believe I'd do that better, and quite frankly, there is enough of copy-paste content from every one of us anyway, and I am working on actually doing battle videos, I just haven't got around to that, I need to get myself a smaller TV so I can have that recording here instead of in the living room, as it was not easy recording in the living room, now is it? Uh, that said, <laughs> um, the world's exploit has been surprisingly easy to do, which has been that you can get, if you create a wishing star or a wishing piece, um, you can recreate um, a den raid basically. And if you change day as you go in for the lobby, you can change the date and then you will be able to get out of that lobby. And when you go back, you can re actually recollect 2000 watts. You can do that over and over again. And it takes roughly 20 seconds to do that. And um, basically, um, I think I, I actually took the time to how much. Uh, if you're gonna collect one and a half million to or basically collect 99 999 luxury ball uh, that takes you roughly 20 minutes or 19 minutes precisely uh, which will elaborate to one and a half million poke dollars in theory you need 300 poke dollars to get a complete pokemon team by six pokemon besides of course breeding them which mean if you have a team of six you can in theory get that team of six under an hour which is incredible uh, the meow exploits i was actually doing uh, it is not that fast. Um, I actually took the time to clock myself how many I had to actually do that battle or that way five times to collect the same amount of money, um, which basically took me around 40 minutes. So um, this is a theory, double the speed. Um, while it isn't ideal, I do believe it's a very great way of getting money to EV train your Pokemon besides going out to battle. Um, and the thing is here, like I said, the dialogue has been whether or not this is cheating, and I'll get both sides of the aspect. One has considered one thing though, and I, people won't agree with me here, but it is the same thing with Jenning. Um, for being a game that actually promotes that it's not grinding, to get to be competitive battling, you need to grind, and I think that is like the focus has been all wrong for me, as um, I really think the breeding aspect should be just about plenty. And the EV training should be a lot more easier than it is today. And for example, when I was getting Pokemon, I mean, it took me what one to two minutes to set the EVs, and then I could be precise about that and set the breeding moves and whatnot. And basically, it took me two minutes. Let's say it took that. In contrast to 20 minutes plus breeding, that's plenty. Or you know, if one Pokemon is set in contrast to it, it takes in theory five minutes for the meow trick or the, the what trick to fully leave a Pokemon in theory with just with money alone and that is not taken consideration in breeding and that could be even longer like say, let's say 10, 10 to 20 minutes and then we have 2 minutes of just recreating a Pokemon in the PC yes, it's, it's absolutely cheating but at the end of the day we are trying to play the game as the, the game itself is not a breeding process while it is, in theory, I guess, kind of suiting at times that's not why you play it. You play the game for battling other people. And knowing that that is still a threshold, of course, people are going to find ways to make that process easier. And actually, the watch trick is close to what I would say perfect. Yes, the Meowth trick is awesome. And I stand behind it as one of the most legit way of getting it. But I also really want to focus that it's not the fastest. People are gonna go for the fastest. I do the watch trick. Most people who play competitively are gonna do the watch trick because it just save up time to focus on what matters, which isn't the breeding part. You'd be surprised to know breeding and even is not why you play Pokemon. And 
like I said, that being a threshold is quite frustrating. Now, like I said, both Polygon and um, what was the other one? Um, not Famitsu. You, yeah, Famitsu. It was Famitsu. They know it's not Famitsu. There were two outlets at least. Um, I'm sorry to I'm butchering that. Uh, for the life of me, can't remember. It was not. Could have been Famitsu. However, game outlets that just I uh, game are game game informers. Can you call them right? They made articles about this very very phenomena, and. Um, Basically, that something that was considering, to them at least, a luxury and an event to get a, a possible raid battle versus something that is unique and powerful, um, that was taken away from them as players of Pokemon could now exploit the game and get whatever they wanted. <sighs> That's where I feel I have issues. Like, I think the problem is that we don't have access to the things we want. We already got stripped of 55% of the Pokédex itself, and <laughs> I mean, in the end of the day, yeah, we want to get access to the things in game as much as we want, and that should be the focus. And it is an exploit, absolutely, but some of these Pokémons are just their hidden abilities are inborn with being a rather rare spawn, knowing that you need to grind. To get a rare ability to be able to capitalize on a certain Pokemon. For example, Corsola. It has weak armor and cursed body. Weak armor, not that viable for the defensive Pokemon. Cursed body, very viable for defensive Pokemon. It took me, I got that thing legit and by luck. And I faced five Corsolas within the span of six days. In contrast to that, what if I could? recreate that matchup that means I can recatch it and that's basically why I only can assume 50% chance of being a hidden ability I think I can actually boil down that process to be within a day at least in contrast to six days and being lucky come on now I think people should be allowed to actually be trying to get that get, get that Pokemon yes we can breed between one another and that's how why I didn't get far fetched hidden ability but it's just because he doesn't spawn in my game. But come on. This is Zala whatever right now. You can take the concept of and the idea that yeah, we are taking away Pokemon and the luxury of a, a rare spawn, uh, which should be a big event for certain players. I get that. But that's not why you play Pokemon. Raid battles are great, but it's for the rewards in born to catching that Pokemon that could be viable for the game in the future. We don't need to reread it. That's the process, that's the luxury. Not getting a certain spawn and hoping it's right. It isn't. Like that part makes me frustrated. I think it's I think it's awful. I think it's very mean spirited to think this is something else when it isn't. I I really, really couldn't tell you otherwise. Um moving on in the future here, yes, I do believe it's very important that the uh, game informers do um take the chance of actually running articles and you know thinking and leveling with the Pokemon community, um, not because they are involved with the Pokemon community, maybe in that aspect, but more so reminding people that Pokemon are playing or people are playing Pokemon. This is a, of course, hot topic right now, and I really hope that moving forward that it can be just as relevant as this game is going to be important for everyone for different reasons. And um, I think giving proper light to the game like this and you know mentioning exploit is using game and why people are using it and the reason it's important is because it also kind of invites others that might actually not have been able to find out about this to be able to capitalize on that now if Game Freak decides to patch this they do it because they have to they must have known about this exploit way before the game was released couldn't find a way to patch it properly and release his as is, hoping nobody was gonna find out. That's usually what developers do, they know about most exploits, if not every exploit, and um, this is absolutely one of them. Um, will it mean, what will it mean if they patch it? Well, the process of getting a viable Pokemon will now be born to the Meow trick again, and as I said before, if it takes roughly 40 minutes to an hour to get um, the same amount of money as it do with 20 minutes with Luxury Ball, that means, in theory, we're now, instead of actually taking 40 minutes for a complete team, it's going to take us more close to 2 hours plus breeding. 
and that is tough it's a tough sell it's where we are but it's a tough sell for sure um, but I really just want to have that said to you guys as the Meow trick while being viable and, and, and really like the most legit way right now it still is not as relaxing and as profound and as was going to say reliable as this trick is and plus it, you know, it gives you a lot of other you know, good trades such as using you know, the trick little records and whatnot. So they, that's also going to be calculated through this process but basically what I'm trying to say is that you know, use the exploit while it is going on, and uh, to new sell it, keep, keep this up, um, and of course, call it cheating if you want, um, it is an exploit, so that's probably more what it is, and it's up to you and your morale of, you know, can you, can you think of using this to actually be creating the Pokemon you want to play the game, most people would most likely say yes, because it is such a big deal that there is a threshold of money involved to be able to not play the game, yet there are so few ways of actually gaining money in the game. I think... I, I don't like that. I think it was a really poor decision on them to not make it easy to actually gain money in this game. It should have been a lot easier and much more reliable, considering the way the actual treating vitamins right now. Uh, so that's it guys, if you're watching, and I'll actually try to get Pokemon content for you guys very soon. Until then, of course, as always, take care.